And good morning. Thanks for joining us on Tom Warner Cable News on your Wednesday. It is 7.01. Time to check weather on the wall. When it comes to technology, the smaller the better. Scientists at Quantum Materials are working on something that has a lot of applications from solar energy and beyond. Or just Mitchell's getting to see it firsthand this morning. And I'm, you know, I'm beginning to get this. I think I know what you're talking about now. <laughs> Todd, as long as you're on the same page as us now, finally we got you to understand this. Well, I'm getting it a little bit too. Quantum dots, those quantum dots, they're so, so small. There are billions in this jar. And we started out with only like a little bit of solution. And then just in 20 minutes or so, it's filled up that much. So that's kind of like where you're going with this. I mean, it used to take, what, hours for it to fill up Yeah, like actu that? actually this amount would have taken about 10 days in normal production. And we've managed to, uh, with this discovery, produce this in about 20 minutes. So it's really shortened the, the time to uh, production and to be able to achieve really high scale up um, so we can meet the demand of the, mar the market for displays. And Yeah, so what is the demand for the market? When, wh when and where can we be using this technology? Well, I mean, the, the opportunities are really mind-boggling, but the immediate applications are going to be in lighting, displays, um, some biomedical uh, applications, uh -huh. and uh, certainly we see uh, just a broad array of applications in the solar market. But if this was in a solar panel, it wouldn't be this oozy solution inside a solar panel. What would it be? No, this would be actually combined with a polymer and uh -huh. applied as a film. So it would be applied either to the glass or to a thin film substrate. And right now they are sending this up to a facility in Nevada, and they're making it into that film, but the hope is that that will be, you know, here at this facility so that they can continue to create it here in San Marcos, Todd? That is pretty cool for your, your televisions, lighting, solar panels. That's very cool. I'm getting it. <laughs> Thanks, Jess. Well, since 2013, Texas State University students have worked alongside the scientists at Quantum Materials. They're helping them with advanced research.